a Disham Hall located in Haputali, Sri Lanka. The founder of this site is Sir Thomas Lister Villers. His first wife, Evelyn Hope, was homesick and wanted to go back to the UK. To make her happy, Sir Thomas built this place that designed in the Tudor style, like the Leeds Castle in Kent. He named it Addition after the name of the village in the United Kingdom where he was born. This is located at the top of the mountain and in the middle of the jungle. A narrow roadway was constructed from the main road going to this site. Just look at this magnificent site. I'm always fascinated by historical places and things. Atisham Hall is full of interesting stories and even material items from the past. Just look at this incredible structure of the house from 1931. That's exactly 89 years ago. Yet, the structure is still magnificent and useful. It's amazing, isn't it? This sturdy house is beautifully made of stout granite walls and built by Indian masons that they import here in Sri Lanka just to do this job. Nowadays, St. Benedict's Monastery is operating a small shop here where they make jams and juices out of natural fruits. They still carry the name Adisham, which is very thoughtful of them. Those days, the whole yard of this place was full of roses, which was maintained by Evelyn Hope or Lady Fillers, as the people around them called her. The temperature here is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, which is perfect, not too cold and not too hot just like Mountain Province, Philippines, where I grew up. Visitors are allowed to go inside to feel and see the items which belonged to Sir Villers and his wife. This portrait was painted by Lady Villers. I got mesmerized by how it was painted because no matter which angle you view this portrait, his eyes seems like it's looking at you. These amazing paintings decorating the walls are meticulously painted by none other than Lady Villers. They said she even used flower petals for her masterpiece. Those days, living on top of the mountain and reading this whole collection of books from the cupboard must be perfect. Just 
Look at this old typewriter and this painting about the Tudor 